So, Ali, we've looked at the domestic products uh, across the range from the shower heads right the way through to the um, Vortex system for homes. We also do, we also do a, a range of um, commercial products designed for the industrial and commercial environments yes. where they've got a much, much higher flow of water. Yes. Perhaps you can explain in a bit more detail, obviously, what benefits this system has for um, larger clients, whether it be um, commercial or agricultural, mm -hmm. and um, we can we can have a look at it. This is very heavy. It's very <laughs> it heavy. What's it made of? <clears throat> it's made of high grade stainless steel, um, which is you know one of the best grades you can have for 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 water. This is uh, the um, Saiseco AVS uh, forty um, water uh, vortex activator. So. In terms of agriculture, for example, vortex water, you know, when it goes through uh, the, the triple helix uh, chamber inside, it creates something called microclustered water. That means when you, get, you, know, when you have municipal water, because of treatment, chemistry, the, the, the way it's transported, the clusters are very big. They become almost like... Um, yeah, very clustered water. <clears throat> the system actually breaks the clusters, make them into smaller clusters, and what that translates to is on a cell wall membrane, human, animals, plants, our cell wall membranes have a finite uh, size. So when the molecules of water are broken into small molecules, they hydrate the skin or the plant much, uh, much more efficiently. So in agriculture, we can help reduce the consumption of water because the water becomes more hydrating rather than spraying a lot of water which will create these big dew drops and then they evaporate. Okay? We can make it more efficient at hydrating the plants and from the tests and uh, feedback that we have we can reduce water consumption, the growth is more vigorous and the root system is more uh, complex, it's uh, well formed and when you look at the, the, the food produced it's vibrant, it's green, it's just very different. So in agriculture there are two main benefits. Yes. One is lower water consumption yes. and higher <coughs> yield in terms of the crop. That's right. Now I know <coughs> from looking on the the uh, various testimonials you've got yes. that um, you know, you've, you've had these systems installed in a various different environments where you've shown this type of increase in growth and and vitality. What about outside of agriculture? What about in other environments like hotels or, or other environments of course. like that? <coughs> so this this is very important. So. In a hotel, <clears throat> traditionally people will use a salt water softener uh, to prevent the, the, the pipes becoming scaled and so on. So that's, that's great. This is you know, proactive maintenance and the clients have a better experience having a shower or bath, etc. But you can have a case where water can become corrosive. So if the water is corrosive, then you will start eating away or destroying your pipes. And the cost of that in a hotel environment is huge. So uh, digging up walls, tiles, this is big work. So basically, <laughs> salt um, in the water will, or sodium in the water will act as a corrosive element. Salt has a corrosive aspect. So these, this technology, the, the Saiseco uh, AVS, uh, uses different principles to give you a similar effect. So basically, if you want soften water or if you want to re reduce the, the scale what this one does it's using chemistry and physics to change the scale the, the lime scale which is a sticky scale which is in solution in the water and takes it out and makes it into a non-sticky uh, scale that's the simplest way I can say that's we, we talked about this with the domestic one that's effectively where the vortex running down or the triple vortex in this particular yes. case you've got three vortices running together so down the simultaneously. down the simultaneously down the pipe pull the centrifugal centripetal forces pull the different elements within the water apart yes microcluster the water liberate the um, calcium that's in the water the heavy metals 
And then, as you described earlier, the they, they create a negative ion charge. That's right. Which basically changes the calcium, which would have a positive ion charge, into one with a negative ion charge so that it's no longer sticky. Positive ion charge would stick to everything metal and stick to the other calcium and all that kind of stuff. But with a negative charge, it no longer sticks to anything else and exactly. it then just passes through the system. Well, uh, again, you know, going back to, let's say, a hotel or hospitality industry environment, <clears throat> we know of certain hotels in the Mediterranean where the water is so hard that they have to replace their ballcocks very often when they clean the bathroom mirrors and, and windows and the shower doors, they have to use a lot of chemicals because you get these smears, mm. okay? Now, imagine where you change the scale. We're not taking it out. It's not like a salt water softener where the, the, the calcium leaves the water. You're changing the structure so it's not sticky. What you will find is that on a tap, for example, you might, when the water dries, you might find a little powdery residue, okay? And you just wipe your finger and the tap is clean. So therefore, <clears throat> on an environmental or chemical level, cleaning is going to be more efficient in places where you have hardness. So, you know, we found that uh, in certain hotels where this hardness is, is prevalent, when they put in uh, uh, an intervention to reduce the hardness, then the maids spend less time or the cleaning staff spend less time. That means profit. They use less chemicals. And in that extreme case, when they were re replacing ball cocks every two weeks, that's an extreme expense. And they had no choice because that area is known for the minerals and the thermal baths and everything. So yes, it's a, it's a benefit for people to come in, but there were issues that were occurring as a result of that. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> to have a different way to deal with the scale is very important. Okay, so in summary, yes. this unit gives you basically the same benefits of a water softener but without actually chemically having to soften the water. Right. You're not putting any salt into the environment, you're not putting any salt into your own building so you're not getting the corrosion. The water is drinkable which is yes. different to if it was softened through a water softener yes. uh, which means there's no need to plumb up separate pipes for drinking water and um, so you've got all the benefits of softened water, the less shampoo, the nicer environment, plus it's negatively charged with ions, and ne charged with negative ions, yes. which actually makes the water more pleasant, as we discussed in one of the other videos. It makes the water much more pleasant to shower and bath in. So the entire building winds up with this um, harmonized, revitalized, vortex-treated water. And one of the other things that uh, you mentioned earlier as well, of course, is things like the, the bacteria levels are reduced yes. um, through the vortex as well. So overall, this gives more benefits than a traditional water softener um, in terms of number of benefits. Yes. The water softening is done in a different way, though. It's not traditional water softening That's right. as such. Yeah. It just changes the way that the um, calcium is held in the water so that it no longer has the same effect. Yeah, and the, the other things that you can do with it is if you have a spa or resort or something like that, you'll have a swimming pool. <clears throat> so using a vortex with a swimming pool, you can reduce the pathogen content through that. So therefore we know from you know from feedback and uh, customers using these in spas that they reduce their chlorine uh, consumption and again chlorine is expensive these days mm. uh, in some countries it's hard to get chlorine it's very expensive and they end up using some harsher chemicals because they're cheaper and the last thing you want to do is go to a resort where they're using something that's going to really irritate you so there are benefits for that as well whereby you can reduce your chlorine com uh, consumption and put it into a swimming pool. It will reduce the pathogen burden on the swimming pool and the filtration system. Also, obviously, because the water becomes naturally softened rather than you know, chemically softened, yes. um, if you have got a spa, a hotel, a swimming pool, your showers, your mirrors, your windows and everything are going to have far less 
cleaning required. They're going to be a lot less maintenance. Exactly. I know through, from uh, one of the testimonials that uh, jacuzzis, for example, they have to keep cleaning the jets normally. Yes. Yeah. When they installed one of these, they reduced the amount of times they had to clean the system by 80%. Yes. So overall, this is, is going to pay for itself in a very short space of time. Yes. And how long does it last? It's a lifetime purchase. Um, you know, what I really like about the ethos of Saiseiko, <clears throat> they really understand and, and want to promote the fact that there's finite resources in the world. Yes, you need stainless steel, you need that, but use it a lifetime. There's no planned obsolescence. You don't need a pump, you don't need electricity, you don't need chemicals, you don't have to replace anything. Use it lifetime. There's no moving parts, the only moving part is the water. So effectively, there's nothing to wear out here. Exactly.